Hey Dream Chasers, it's JC, and today I want to show you how to get started with digital art for less than $20. So a lot of people say to me that they want to get started and they just don't have the money for it, it's too expensive. And uh, I think where a lot of people get hung up is they think they have to buy a name brand tablet or a screen tablet and I really don't think you need to spend that kind of money just to get started or to see if you like digital art. So today we're going to use a $20 tablet. It's by X-Pen. It's the Star G430S. There's a link in the description if you want to pick one up yourself. And it has over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. Uh, it doesn't have a stylus battery, which is great. So you don't have to worry about it dying halfway through your drawing. Uh, and it works with Windows 10 or uh, Mac OS 10.8 or higher. And it was less than 20 bucks. It was like 19.95. So obviously asterisk, you still need a computer or some kind of a device uh, that this will work on. Uh, but uh, if you don't have a computer, but you happen to have a smartphone, like an Android phone, there are also tablets for maybe like 30 or $40 that work with those. So even if you don't have a computer, it's not, I'm not going to say cheap, right? 30, 40 bucks isn't, isn't nothing. Even 20 bucks isn't nothing, but it, it's a more affordable way to get started. So uh, if you have an Android device, there's also links in the description to tablets that will work with that. Uh, this one doesn't. I thought it did when I bought it, but I didn't read the description very so maybe at some point uh, I'll also pick one of those up and, and test it out just to show you guys what those are like. Uh, but for today, we're going to plug this into my computer and we're going to download Krita, which is free. So you don't have to spend any money on software either. And, and we're going to try this out and see how we like it. So if you've been thinking about digital art, you happen to have a computer that could run free software like Krita or Autodesk Sketchbook or any other free art program. Uh, 20 bucks. That's it. That's all you gotta spend. So we're gonna try this out, see if it's any good. Alright, so I have Krita installed here, and uh, I, even though this says it's plug and play out of the box, uh, I actually did have to install the driver, uh, which I got from the XP Pen website. Uh, you just go to support, download, uh, look for drivers for your series. This is the Star series, uh, and, uh, and this is the, the G4. 30s uh, and you just want to download your driver uh, that's if your pressure sensitivity isn't working and I'll show you what I mean by that so uh, I have a pen selected here you want to see as you press down harder it gets darker if you go light it's very light uh, otherwise you'll you'll get this effect as if this is with the mouse uh, if it looks like this when you draw then you probably need to install the driver uh, and then you can see it here with like different uh, brushes and stuff, it, it'll look different. So uh, I have this pen selected. If I had, uh, say, a pencil, it looks, my lines look a little different. Uh, but that, that's basically what you what you want to look for. Uh, and then just real quick, let's, let's just do a demo. So this is Krita. Uh, I have a pencil here. So this is great for if you want to do some sketching. You can kind of just like lay down your, your basic shapes. Uh, and you know, I'm going really light because you usually do that with pencil stuff. Uh, I hit E to switch to the eraser. So when I erase that, uh, E to go back. And and you just want to kind of put in your, your light sketch, just like you would drawing traditionally. Say you want to start drawing over this, get more detail. You can go over to your layers here, lower the opacity, make a new layer. And so now I'm going to come in and, and go with like a little bit a little bit more detail now that I've kind of blocked in those basic shapes. What's cool about it is, uh, you know, unlike with traditional art where then you might erase sort of your, your sketch layer, you can just get rid of it, you just hide it. So uh, that is that is a very cool thing about working digitally is, you know, everything is, is layered and, and uh, editable. Uh, and then, you know, if I want to then say, okay, this is really still more sketchy than I want. I want, you know, clean line art uh, instead of these, these this sketchy, sketchy pencil. Uh, you can do the same thing, right? So you lower the opacity, hide that layer, and then grab a, grab a, a, a ink pen or something. I, I like this one because it has kind of a, oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Uh, it has kind of a texture to it. 
which, which I like, and it, it gets really thick. And then you just go in and uh, I'm making my brush bigger and smaller by hitting the brackets on my keyboard. See, it's changing up here the size. You can also just do that. Uh, and then you can just line your drawing. And as you press down harder, it gets a little bit darker, which is nice for like, uh, you know, to have like a variation in your line weight. And I like to really honestly, instead of uh, scratchy lines like that, just like try to whenever you can do like one, one quick sort of stroke so you don't get that like scratchy sort of appearance, but that takes a lot of practice. So uh, I might make a video at some point just talking about all about line art uh, and, and how to improve that. But uh, it's okay, honestly, if you, if you kind of go over it a little bit in some places, because then you can switch to the eraser and you can, you can get rid of some of those, you know, those excess marks. All right, so th that's just to kind of play around. Uh, there's a ton of stuff here. There's there's all kinds of brushes. Like if you want it to paint, uh, you can you can build sort of layers uh, of paint. So there's all kinds of different brushes you can use to get different effects. So what I'm going to do is to sort of practice getting used to uh, this size tablet and the program. Uh, I'm going to trace over a sketch that I did uh, in Clip Studio with my other tablet. And I'm just going to kind of see if I can if I can ink this. Uh, so I'm going to go back to this. I really like this brush here. It's like a nice quality. Uh, and I'm going to I'm going to try to ink our girl Sarah here. All right, so through the magic of video editing, uh, we're gonna just speed up the whole half hour, 45 minutes that it took me to ink this. And uh, I wanna give you my impressions on using this tablet. So the thing that really stood out to me the most, unfortunately, is that by the end of it, I definitely had some wrist pain. I think using something this small kind of makes you inclined to do short, repetitive motions with your wrist as where when I'm using a larger tablet or a big drawing pad, I use my shoulder to draw. And that saves you from a lot of wrist pain and injury. So I would definitely recommend if you're working this small to take a lot of breaks, be sort of mindful of those repetitive motions, wear a wrist brace, uh, learn some stretches, and you know maybe long term, uh, plan on moving to something a little bit larger. It doesn't have to be the biggest tablet on the market, just something a little bit bigger because there's definitely a risk of injuring your wrist. That's true of also drawing with a mouse. Just anything where you're constantly doing very small repetitive motions with your wrist can be dangerous. Another thing that really stood out to me though, I have to say, I really like Krita. I like the brushes that it comes with. I was impressed with the selection and I really enjoyed the brush that I used to ink with. And Honestly, you know, overall, I feel like using this very small, cheap little tablet and using a free program didn't feel remarkably different from what I'm used to. It's a few years older at this point, but the tablet that I use is Wacom brand. It was like $300 new and I use Photoshop and Clip Studio, which are both professional pieces of software that cost money. And I really feel like by the time I was done uh, inking this piece, I didn't really feel like it was tricky or any different. It, it felt like what I'm used to doing. So I really think that set, stands to reason that you don't need the most expensive products or you know software to, to start digital art. I think you can do it with anything. I think you can get good with any tools. And uh, my, my big concern really is, is just, you know, how small it is that that's probably not super sustainable for your wrist, uh, something to be mindful of. But I mean, other than that, I, I think I think this is great. I think it holds up. So I, I definitely recommend it. And honestly, I'm just impressed that we've gotten to a point with this technology that it can be so affordable and so compact. All right, so that was my demo of this little $20 XP pen tablet. Uh, not a bad little product. Definitely affordable if you want to get started. If you have tried any similarly affordable products uh, that you recommend, please let us know in the comments. And 
uh, let's let's just encourage each other to make art regardless of the tools. Uh, you don't need to buy the most expensive thing to make art. So just draw with whatever you've got. You, you got a, a $15 art supply kit, start with that. You got a $20 tablet, start with that. Just, just make art and upgrade as you go if you can afford to. All right, anyway, until next time, chase your dreams. Peace. All right, so I'm in my pajamas editing when I realized that I forgot to mention the giveaway. So if you would like a chance to win this tablet, please sign up for my email newsletter. There's a link in the description. Sign up before December 31st, 2019 at 1159 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a chance to win. And if you're already on the list, you are automatically entered. Uh, and if you stay on the list, uh, periodically I will be doing other giveaways and you'll automatically be entered for those. And I won't email you too much. Like every couple months I might have some news or something, some, some new thing going on. Uh, I, I try to spam people. You're definitely not getting like a weekly email from me or anything, so no worries. And uh, yeah, I will pick a random winner after that date and notify them via email. So. Uh, sign up if you want to win and uh, by the way it's this exact tablet that I used in the video so it is gently used but if you want to get started with digital art um, or you know someone who does sign up maybe you get a chance to win and uh, yeah good luck all right thanks bye